Hey guys, welcome to 5 here with episode number 70 of our West Brom career mode on FIFA 20. Kicking it off in the semi-finals against PSG in the Champions League. We're lining up fully strengthed, ready to get to this final that we oh so deserve. This is where we got to last season, if you remember, before we were bottled against Man City. Uh, let's ignore that. We're in a fresh state of mind, and we're going to win this one. As Havertz receives the ball, cuts it onto his stronger, well, no, sorry, his weaker right foot. Played back across, but the cross did go right into the path of Donnarumma. That was the first real chance of this game, as Marlon plays the ball to Kylian Mbappe. Drives to the byline, whips it across, but once again, Donnarumma, he's diving on all the balls that we're trying to cross in. He's just not really allowing us to get to the good opportunities that we made against Atletico and against Juve. As Mbappe intercepts Grimaldo and just charges forward. He's got two men in the middle to aim at. He goes for Vinicius. Great save by Donnarumma. And it is cleared away by Georgian. And then Neymar gives it even further to Egerstein. That's just before halftime. 15 minutes before halftime, we should say. Tonale to Havertz. Havertz dinks one over the top to Marlon. Over the top of Tar. Bang on his left foot. One of the most embarrassing volleys you'll see. In a very long time. But just a few minutes after that, it's whipped across. Once again, Donnarumma doesn't allow the cross to get to the man. And it's cleared upfield to Diallo. He nods it down to Kylian Mbappe. Knees it up to Rhys James. Rhys James can't quite turn his man, but he does still have possession of the ball. As Mbappe lays it across to Dave Scott. Dave Scott threads one through to Marlon. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Hits the post. Are we ever going to score in this game? As Vinicius Jr. lays the ball to Mbappe. Load off to Tonali. Takes a touch and volleys it. Right down the throat of Donnarumma, he can easily catch that one. As we move ever closer to halftime, we intercept the ball here as Diallo plays the ball to Dave Scott. Dave Scott up to Vinicius Jr. on the left-hand side, plays it into Havertz. Laid off to Donnarumma, who just had a great opportunity there. He is going to cut it back inside to Havertz on his left foot. Donnarumma saves it. There's no beating this keeper tonight, I swear. I swear. He is so difficult to beat right now. But right from kickoff in this second half, PSG are on the attack with Neymar. Neymar's going to look to get the ball forward here. Hasn't really got any options out wide, but he decides actually he finds a bit of space and finds Bergwijn. Bergwijn gets the ball intercepted and Dave Scott can start a counter-attack for ourselves here. Vinicius Jr. cuts centrally, lays one through to Marlon. It's a brilliant ball. He's got away from both the centre-backs. One-on-one with the keeper. And he drills it low, hard. And he just drives it into that bottom right-hand corner. Four minutes into the second half. We go 1-0 up in this Champions League semi-final. And we are looking good. As Fabian receives the ball, he plays it right into the path of the former PSG man, Kylian Mbappe. Kai Havertz finds Tenali. Tenali up to Marlon. Turns, finds Kai Havertz through on goal. Gets the better of Akanji. One-on-one. -on -one, dinks it over the top. Doesn't quite fall. Just, just, just goes over and hits the top of the net. And it didn't dink. It didn't, the dink didn't quite loop enough. As Vinny Jr. cuts inside with a nice little Ronaldo chop. He's going to hold on to possession quite nicely, actually. And he draws Georgian out, allowing us to make the pass here as we find Dave Scott. Dave Scott's going to turn, find Tonali, who is himself going to turn, play back to Dave Scott. Eventually, the ball will be played forward. As it's dinked over the top to Marlon, played over the top of Akanji, on the volley. You thought that was going in, because I sure did. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, the scores are still 1-0 as Tonali back heels the ball to Mendy. Drilled across to the back post, headed clear only as far as Tonali, who takes it down, lays it across to Dave Scott. Dave Scott's going to take it in a stride and play it centrally to Vinicius Jr. Turns Tar, he's going to... Somehow, Donnarumma doesn't dive onto that one. He's been diving onto balls all day long, but it's chipped over the top to Kai Havertz, who nods it into the back of the net, doubling our lead, making it 2-0 on the night. It's two home goals, though. No away goals as of yet. But yeah, very strange there by Donnarumma. He's been diving on top of the balls all night long, but for some reason, when Vinicius Jr. got the ball that close to him, he didn't decide to attack it. And the game does end as a 2-0 victory to us. We move on. But we do not move straight on to the game in Paris. We have a little intervene intervention. In, we've got to intervene elsewhere. As we stay at the Hawthorns, we've got Leicester travelling to us. 21 yards out. Dave Scott from the free kick. Three minutes into the game. He, all he's got to do is beat Nick Pope. He's going right in that top left-hand corner. Can he find it? Yes, he can. The first player to score a free kick since Hakan Chalanu, who signed for us. It's that boy, Dave Scott. 
And this is a very important goal because as it stands, we're wrapping up the Premier League title in this game because of that goal. And you'd just love to see that it was a free kick scored by Dave Scott, the protege to Hakan Chalanohu, just tearing it up really. Brilliant to see. At 72 minutes into the game, Hagazi wins back the ball. He plays it through to Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe cuts inside. He's got Tanali back inside to make the pass to. He holds up the ball, waiting for some runs to be made. Decides in the end to actually go back to Mbappe. Marlon throws one through to Vinny Jr. Tucks it past Nick Pope right into that top right-hand corner. We've had one in the top left, one in the top right. Both at opposite ends of the pitch. And that does it. That seals the victory for us. That wraps up the league title Coming back to West Brom, we've retained the league. And as of right now, we've done it invincible. So, does the league title end as an invincible season? You'll have to find out after the PSG game. But for right now, we're celebrating. We haven't got the golden invincible Premier League title. We've just got the normal silver one for right now. But I'm absolutely fine with that. Retaining the Premier League is a hard thing to do. Not many managers can do it. And we are going down in history as one of the few that did retain the Premier League. As Rhys James steps up to lift his second Premier League title in just as many years. Those blue and white ribbons on the title draped down. Kylian Mbappe comes to England and in his first season he wins himself a Premier League title. He's done it in France, now he's doing it in England. As Rhys James puts his hand on it. This feeling is oh so familiar because we raise the Premier League title above our heads and we go down as the Premier League champions once again. But once this game was done, all eyes were back on the Champions League. There was no time for celebrations. Maybe for the fans there was, but for the players, I told them, look, boys, we've won this before. We celebrated like, like crazy for this Premier League title last year. I want to do the same for the Champions League this year. Because we've still got one more leg in the semi-finals. This is the leg where we bottled it against Manchester City, if you remember. So if we can secure victory in this leg, we have improved on last year. And we will be in the finals. But, you know, we gave them the day. The day off. After this game, I gave them the day off. Let them celebrate with themselves. Got to, hey, don't get too drunk. But the boys, you know, they have respect. And we move into... The Champions League semi-final second leg taken on PSG at the Parc des Princes in France. The boys are ready. I'm ready. And it is time to go. As two minutes into the game, Georgian whips the ball across. Skriniar wins the header and plays it to Kai Havertz. Chests it down, looks to get the breath of Agostin as he plays the ball to Marlin. Holds it up, holds off his man quite nicely as Dave Scott lays it off to Reese James. Threads one through to Kylian Mbappe. He's got the better of Grimaldo for pace. He's got the better of the whole defensive pace. Cuts inside Ronaldo Chop. And he just tucks it past Donnarumma. Getting us that vital away goal. And he goes. He pays his respects. He says this is the team that made, that made me who I am today. And you've got to respect that. It's 39 minutes into the game. From a Donnarumma goal kick. He plays it upfield. Fabian and Tonali. Tonali actually wins that header. And he doesn't quite win the second chance. But Rhys James is there to intercept. Ball finds Marlin, dinks it over Tar, keeps it up, volleys it. Just over the crossbar. Could have been some sensational goal to secure our place in the final. But we're not then there as Mbappe plays the ball to Marlin. Marlin back heels it to Mbappe on his left foot. Whips one, hits the post and it finds Grimaldo who's going to clear the ball away to Tony Martial. Who looks to start a counter-attack here for PSG just before the hour mark. Fabian. Actually has his ball intercepted again by Reese James. And then Mbappe looks to get another one. Another chance here. Havertz turns. Intercepted by Fabian. Fabian finds Munir. Munir holds it up. Plays it back to Fabian. Fabian to Martial. Martial back to Fabian. Good bit of play here by PSG. And they could be right back in this game if they score in this one. Eggstein over the top to Neymar. Neymar down to Munir. Back to Neymar. Back through to Munir. One on one. Low hard driven. Right underneath the keeper. Through his legs. It's 1-1 one, one on the night. 3-1 on aggregate. We know what Barcelona did to PSG. Can PSG do that to us? As Bergwijn looks to break through, but Diallo's there to win back the ball. He finds Kai Havertz. Havertz lays the ball off to Tonali. Tonali's got a man making a run in Marlon and in Kylian Mbappe. Decides to go for Mbappe. 
Cuts back inside to Marlon. Marlon lays it across to Havertz. Couple of step overs gets spread of his fellow teammate and countryman, Tar. And on that left foot, he tucks it past Donnarumma. 2 1. That's two away goals added to our two home goals, making it 4 1 on aggregate. We go through in this game. We are in the Champions League final. And that will be in the next episode. Episode 71 will be the Champions League final. It will be a live com. And as you can see here, not only that, we beat Bournemouth. We drew to Arsenal and we beat Watford. We went invincible in the Premier League. And you can see we will take on Barcelona in the Champions League final. Be ready for that one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.